My name is John Biloff. I am the chairman of the history department here at Fay School, but I am also the teacher for ninth grade elective course called Topics in Modern American History. The course was designed by myself uh, several years ago with the understanding that the content of the course uh, was something that they wanted to offer that most other schools don't. So having taught upper level history for many years in high school, it was very hard for us to ever reach the modern era of history being post-World War II. I tried to design a course that would both engage the kids with content they may not really see until maybe they get to college, but with a skill development that is going to aid them in becoming the strongest history students they can be at the high school level. By the end of the year, we hope that every student will have a deep understanding of the cause and effect relationship at the heart of any study of history, as well as understanding what context, agency, perspective, and historical significance mean in a larger context of either the coursework or in terms of their individual understanding of the current world around them and what we study from day to day in the class. I love the fact that the kids come in with basically no background of the major pieces that we study. Uh, it, when you teach it, American history from the beginning, a lot of kids understand what the colonies were and they understand the revolution and they've heard about the Civil War. But when you start to talk about Watergate, you talk about uh, the presidencies of Nixon and Johnson and Carter and Reagan, they have little or no knowledge and so they really start fresh and they really gravitate towards the information in a much different way without any biases, without any real foregone conclusions that they've drawn up in their minds because of what they've heard in previous classes or what they've read. Skill development wise, we certainly focus on research skills. We like the kids to understand what makes for a good source, what makes for a weaker source, how to use primary source documents, how to underscore those with what they read in secondary source documents. But really the skill development that we're looking for is for kids to understand what kind of a learner they are. Are they a stronger learner in terms of reading, in terms of watching documentary, in terms of kinesthetic projects where they're working individually or collectively towards a shared goal, but really understanding what it is that makes them successful in the classroom so that they can turn that into success at the secondary school level. Although I get a lot of feedback from students about how much they enjoy working with me and how much they enjoy the coursework, I think one of the greatest things for me as a teacher is to listen to kids say how much they appreciate the workload and the effort that I ask them to give when they get to secondary school, that they feel more prepared in their secondary school classes than many of their peers. And it's because we have such a high level of expectation in this class and a high level of output. The kids are always working and that really sets them up for success at the secondary school level.